Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Lauren and this is my YouTube channel, Lauren Renee. I love showing a bit of lifestyle and fashion and travel bits of my life. Um, and this video today, I'm really excited. If you'd watched the video before, I teased a little bit of what I was going to show. This whole month of May is my birthday month and I've been gifted and a couple of pieces of really lovely clothing that I wanted to show you guys and I thought I'd make this video a real feature of one piece that I've been loving and wanting for ages and that is oh my brand new beautiful mango uh overs not oversized sorry my mango wool coat look at it lovely look at it ah so I got this for my birthday um I purchased it for myself just for my birthday and it goes like right down. It's a really long coat, goes on my shoulders, down to like my mid calves, I'd say. Sorry, I'm a bit far back. Um, it's beautiful black. It is a recycled wool. I've kept the tag on for you. Um, it's from Mango. I had to get this shipped in. It was from came from Spain, I think it came from. It was I got it in a size small, and it was two hundred and sixty dollars. I think it was on sale. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> but yeah, what I fell in love about this piece was I wanted, I didn't want a really oversized coat. I I love that trend going round, but I think for my first piece, I wanted something that was gonna streamline my wardrobe and streamline my outfits and really go with everything. I think I need to build up a bit more before I go too oversized. I also wanted a coat that was gonna be really warm for winter. That is huge for me. I didn't have a coat that is really warm. I had a couple of lighter trench coats, but from the past, I was just like too like, I've got to get to work and I don't have time to buy a coat. I took time and I did my research and I fell in love with this one. Um, it's so, it's so lovely. It's nice. It's not too thick that it's, I'm going to overheat, but it's great if I want to go into the office in the morning. What I also loved about it is it has pockets, by the way. We love that for girls. We love the pockets. Um, what I also loved is it's black buttons. I didn't want a sleek black coat that had big gold buttons or something that really stood out. I wanted it to simply go with any outfit. I wanted, if I wanted to be able to wear silver, I could wear silver with it. If I wanted to wear gold, I could wear gold accessories. Something that was gonna go with everything. I think in the long term, I will get something with some gold detailing on it, but I liked it, it had all seamless. As you can see, it's also double breasted around the back. I also liked that it didn't come with its own belt. I wanted it to be straight. I didn't want any further detailing. I wanted it to be really simple so that all my layering underneath could elevate the piece. So what I'm going to be doing for you is I'm going to be styling this up for the first time, honestly, with the tag and everything on it and showing you five different ways that I'm probably going to be wearing this coat throughout winter and the future. So let's dive into it. I'm actually wearing my first outfit that I want to show you. So I'm going to be reading off my notes on my phone and while I cut away. Let's chuck the coat on. Just, just to see. Oh, you'll see my tummy. Alright, I've got the coat on. That's over breasted. It's over top of a H&M wool turtleneck in charcoal. And that's the top of the fit. Alright, so my first outfit for today is this one. And this one I like to think of it as a winter outings. If you're going out into a winter market, going out for a lovely winter walk in the city. I've paired it obviously with my turtleneck charcoal jumper. I've got my, uh, I was about to say blazer, I've got my coat on. I've got it paired with some tailored black pants. And I've also got it with my brand new that you would have seen in my last video, uh, Whitner boots, the leather, the leather boots. La, 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 la. I can't speak. And then I've also got it with my coach strap bag that you have definitely seen before. I really love this. Oh, I just want to go look in the mirror first. Oh, she's, she's so sleek. She's so sleek. Um, I adore this outfit. I think it's, I think an all black outfit can look really great. One, especially for obviously for anyone. Two, one for me because my hair is all is already a bright color. I am permanently with a bright color, like <laughs> so. It's kind of nice to be like all black and then my bright red hair. That's just for me. But I love this outfit. I think yeah, the the black is so chic. I'm so warm and toasty. I'm really cozy, and because my shoes are flat, that's really great. 
and it really accentuates like that winter feel that that looks like I've just thrown it thrown the coat on and I'm totally ready to go grab some flowers grab a, a coffee and a croissant and a lovely local little pastry shop a cafe but yes that is my first look I'm just gonna look myself in the mirror Honestly, I think you can, honestly, I think you can totally wear this outfit anywhere and I think it's so chic and so great. I think an all black outfit is super slimming if you want it to be. And it's really great and I've obviously detailed it with some little gold earring, gold hoop earrings. These are, I can't link them because they're like within my family and they're many, many years old. So, but any like little hoop will do, is perfect for it and I think it's just with my straight hair. Okay, let's get on to the next look. Alrighty, next on ooh, there's a bit of hair. <laughs> next on my outfit list to show you, I've got dinner date idea for a dinner date look for my coat, and that I'm styling this with a tight grey, well kind of like two tight, tight, slightly loose bodycon dress, like knit dress. And I've paired it with a black belt. I've got my little Oriton black bag that you've seen before. And I've also paired it with my little Whitner uh, high heel shoes that are perfect for winter if it's wet because at least my toes are covered. And then because I always, I don't like it when my toes are wet. So <laughs> I can still wear those in winter. And I am styling this with a black coat because I feel like a black coat really elevates a winter going out look for an evening. You can really style up this start type of outfit you know it feels really ele it can feel really elegant and done up and winter coats just make everything warmer and having the black detailing with my shoes and with the bag and with the belt that contrasts with the darker gray uh, on top underneath the black coat really brings together the outfit and marries together the colors of that really wintry feel and I think it's really great to stick within very small amounts of color changes. If I paired it with a brown belt, I think it would have been okay because there, there's that three layers of colors. I don't like to generally do any more than three colors in one outfit. I think then it becomes too busy. There's too much going on and no one can really focus on. Everyone's focusing on one bit of the outfit at a time rather than the outfit as a whole. So that's like, if I'd done like pink shoes, brown belt, gray dress, black coat, I don't think it would have worked, but I love that feel of everything's marrying together and complementing each other both in color and texture and tone so that is my uh, dinner date like winter dinner date idea with my coat now my another outfit that I have to show you is a going to the airport kind of inspiration everyone loves a pair of jeans so I'm styling my black coat up with for this next outfit with a pair of a brand jean blue jeans that I have and I've loved for years highly recommend anyone who wants high-waisted jeans that aren't super constricting for skinny jeans but give you that little bit of feel feel good so I've styled this going to the airport with my jeans I've got an oversized gray jumper and a cap and obviously my coat and then I've even brought along my Angela white uh, suitcase to sh just show you what it would be like and hopefully I'm going there at the end of the year and, and to the airport and I'll be able to take you along the journey I probably won't wear this outfit because when I'm going to the airport it will be summer but this is a great um, outfit for any winter travel I think I was in Europe a few years ago after eight months and I had to come back home and I had like two coats three coats with me and so if you want to take anything heavy overseas, wear it on the plane. I wore two coats on the plane to get home and I looked like a very, very pudgy, little like poofy ball of coats. So it was quite funny. But I love a really, for at least an airport, really like comfortable outfit where you can walk through the whole airport, still feel stylish going through and shopping for any luxury items you might want at um, duty free. And then also sitting on the plane, you could be there for quite a while. You want to be comfortable. That's why I've got the hoodie and the cap. I love a cap. I think caps look great. Um, really tone down the outfit and keep you warm because airport airports and the, especially air like planes, I was about to say airlines, but airlines and airplanes are quite cold, so you want to rug up. And the layers of the coat and the jumper can easily be taken off and stored away or stored on your lap so that, you know, you can change to how you're feeling. So, 
that is my airport look. I just moved my mirror. I had my mirror still in the back of me. But anyway, so I've got my airport one done. I've got talked to you about my winter outfit. I've talked to you about a dinner day outfit. So my next outfit that I've got is a cute little, another little lunch um, outfit that you can pair with a great black coat. So I've decided to pair it almost with a full white. We're going opposite to the full black. We're going full white. So I've got a white jumper, which has got a high neck and some loose sleeves that you'll see. I've got my country, no, country road white pants, white jeans that you have definitely seen before. I've got paired that with a black belt and I've also got my short Joe Mercer black boots. Again, it's, it's quite similar principles to what I was saying about marrying those colors together and keeping it quite within the same tone. Obviously white and black are totally opposite, so it does give you more of a pop. You'll be definitely be able to see yourself more. Um, but marrying in those tones of the black belt with the black coat and definitely the black boots. I like the black boots because it lets my pants and my coats speak because they're such different colors. Whereas in wearing the high boots and wearing them with the all the same black, I quite liked because it just married itself all together and kept the flow of the boots going into the flow of the pants. In terms of the two-toned cream and white, I didn't really mind that, but I would like to wear it with more of a white jumper that is a bit more stocky and less on the yellow tone. Millie is crying. Come in here. Or is it Leroy crying? Hello. Come say hi to everybody. Come say hi. Yeah. Oh, hey girl. You gonna help me style? Whoa, don't lick my face. You're a bit tired. Hi. Alright, I've got to keep styling black coats. i got to go. Off you go. Alright, he's gone. What is that? Yes, I was at my lunch date. I think, you know, something really light and airy is great for during the day. Um, especially, obviously, in winter. Something darker, I think, is that real sultry, sultry tone is great for an evening look. This, I'm going more towards the day. You could even, if you wanted, style this up with a cap again. I might show you that, but I might not, we'll see. Um, and again, I went, I love the, my little short boots and thought that was super cute. And obviously, um, I like pairing it with a similar tone bag, but wouldn't mind going something more green or a sagey green that could really, you know, keep within that my three and keep within that tone. So. On to my last of my notes. I don't want to like show you my notes just in case. Um, is my last outfit look for this black coat. I'm so excited to like, I haven't, because I've just bought these, I'm so excited to actually go out and wear it and like post photos and, and show you of me wearing these outfits in real life. So if you want to, you can go check out my Instagram. I hope to be showing more stuff soon and just like building it all up and having a bit of fun. But my last outfit I've decided to do a going to the office. As you guys know, I work within the co corporate construction, so I go into the Melbourne office quite a lot uh, when I'm not working from home. So I've got a great little Portman's black work dress, and I'm going I'm pairing them with my little Whitner black heels again, over draping over my black coat and styling it with my base work black bag. Obviously, this is all black again. And once the black coat is off and at work, you know, it's a lot toned down. However, I really liked having a black coat for work. Work, going to the office, I have to catch trains and I have to walk outside before I'm in the office. And it's, this coat is so sleek and so simple. It, it gives off that real corporate successful vibe that I want. And so I really fell in love and in, in turning this both into a day wear outfit, evening outfit and work outfit. You could even turn, take this coat and wear it like with a little mini black dress. There goes people talking to me while well, I'm busy. Um, and I think it's gonna, it's a really great outfit to wear to the office. I personally don't love something really loud when you're going corporate. I love something that's even toned. You know, you want to look businessy, you want to look professional within your own style, obviously. And I think this look is really great at accomplishing that. So, I think that's my five outfits. I can't wait to show you guys in per like, like online and show you me wearing them out in real life. And I absolutely love this coat. Let's get it. Oh, it's so stunning. It's so nice. I need to give her another like do over with the lint roller. 
So I hope you enjoyed. I'll link everything that I've worn or similar that if I can't get the products anymore in the bio. And I can't wait to see you next week. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It means so much. And it's I'm just having so much fun making these videos. So I'll see you next week for my last installment of my birthday month activities. And this one, this one's a bit of a off character, a bit of a wild one. So I'll see you then. Bye.